Hi, my name is Mike Pettit, and I'm a co-founder and the CIO of Open Amplify. I'd like to introduce you to a very special aspect of the new functionality available in Open Amplify version 2.1, which is now available for your use. The new feature is called Co-Reference, and it makes all the Open Amplify signals better. Co-Reference permits us to make connections between entities referenced in a text. It can connect President Obama to Barack Obama or Obama. It can connect references to he or she to persons mentioned earlier in the text. And since it can do this, it can attach polarity, intent, and all the other signals in the text to their proper entities. I want to stress that co-reference is a very hard thing to implement. Once you've seen it in action, I hope you'll join me in congratulating the team that brought it into being. This is truly a first. So, let's see co-reference in action. As always, we use a very simple entry screen that just sits in front of the production Open Amplify service. No smoke or mirrors, this is happening before your eyes. I'm going to type, I had lunch today with Jack and Jill. We went to that new restaurant downtown. She's awesome. But I wish he would take it easy on the vulgar language. Okay, there it is. We've dissed Jack and complimented Jill. Let's see how Open Amplify connects the good and the bad to the right people. We hit the button, and there it is. Jack negative, Jill positive. Now, since people tend not to repeat names as they write, but use pronouns like he and she, being able to make these connections accurately simply makes everything we do a lot better. This works not just with polarity, but with all the signals. Let's try another example. I'm going to type in here. Tony is actually serious. He's going to buy that rusty old car from Bonnie. Boonie. <laughs> Bonnie. The one that breaks down all the time. And he's going to drive drive it to Florida next week. Man, is he brave. How's my typing? Pretty good. We turn it loose and take a look. Tony is shown as buying something in the present time frame and going somewhere next week. He picked up a positive for being brave. Open Amplify connected not just the polarity, but the intent, temporality, and decisiveness as well. And it will do that with all the other signals, guidance included. One last example. I'm going to make up a company name. Check this out. It's a lot of typing, and so I think I'll just paste it in here. Groove Proof Wrappers Corporation, you like that name? Reported their earnings today. GRC will pay a small dividend. The CEO, Charlie Smith, spoke at a press conference this afternoon. Smith told the press he intends to appoint Betty Pine to the head of artist development. Quote, Betty is hip, smart, and a strong manager, said Smith. Okay, now this is, this is pretty complicated, as an example goes. Can Open Amplify make all the connections? Watch this. Bingo. Betty got the compliment, and richly deserved. Mr. Smith did some talking, but here's the part I really like. Open Amplify actually figured out that GRC stands for Groove Proof Wrappers Corporation. It did that on the fly. And it connected the positivity that's inherent in the dividend to that company. This is how co-reference connects the linguistic dots so that you get the whole picture. Now, this first release of co-reference lays the groundwork for addressing more ambiguous cases, such as the, the use of the pronoun it, which is really hard. Stay tuned for much more co-reference in the near future. The Open Amplify mission remains the surfacing of every shred of meaning from text, and co-reference is a great leap forward. We hope you'll enjoy using Open Amplify 2.1.
and we invite you to get a free API key from community.openamplify.com and prove out coreference for yourself. Thanks very much for your attention.